Hey guys, welcome back to Celebrity Snap. In today's video, we shall be looking at the members of Columbo TV series, then and where they are now. Let's get started. Peter Falk Peter Falk was 47 years old then and died in 2011 when he was 83 years old. He won four Primetime Emmy Awards and a Golden Globe Award for his role as Lieutenant Columbo in the series. John Finnegan John Finnegan was 49 years old then and died from pneumonia in 2012 when he was 85 years old. He had 10 siblings and also served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. Bruce Kirby Bruce Kirby was 50 years old then and died in January 2021 when he was 95 years old. He played in many TV programs such as Goodyear Television Playhouse. He had two sons. One of them is an actor. Shara Denise Shara Denise was only 27 years old in 1976 and is now 72 years old. She was born in Hartsdale, New York and was a 1970 Miss Pennsylvania Word. The Peter Falk's Law is named after her husband. Vito Scotto Vito Scotto was 57 years old then and died of lung cancer in 1996 when he was 78 years old. His career spanned over 50 years. He could assume many roles, hence the name of A Man With A Thousand Faces. Patrick McGuhan Patrick McGuhan was 47 years old in 1974 and died in 2009 when he was 80 years old. He was a chicken farmer at 16 and also a recipient to BAFTA award and a two primetime Emmy award winner. Fred Drapper Fred Drapper was 53 years old then and died aged 76 years old. He was born in Chester, Pennsylvania and attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. Robert Culp Robert Culp was 45 years old then and died in 2010 when he was 79 years old. He became famous for his role in the film I Spy in 1965. He also had recurring roles in the sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond. Val Avery Val Avery was 50 years old then and died in 2009 when he was 85 years old. His career spanned over 50 years and he was married to Margot Stevenson, who is also an actress. Stephen Gilborn Stephen Gilborn was 39 years old then and died in 2009 when he was 72 years old. He was a professor of humanities before transitioning to acting. Jerome Gardino Jerome Gardino was 52 years old then and died in 2020 when he was 96 years old. He was born in Brooklyn, New York and was known for the films such as Dream No Evil. He was also an assistant director. Jack Cassidy Jack Cassidy was 48 years old then and died in 1976 when he was 49 years old. He was a Grammy winner and a two times Primetime Emmy Award nominee. Alan Fudge Alan Fudge was 30 years old then and died from lung and liver cancer in 2011 when he was 67 years old. He attended the University of Arizona where he won the Best Act Award twice. Arlene Martel Arlene Martell was 39 years old then and died in 2014 when she was 78 years old. She could display a wide array of characters. Timothy Carey Timothy Carey was 46 years old then and died when he was 65 years old. One scene he was acting once took 57 takes to film. William Shatner William Shatner was 44 years old then and is now 90 years old. He is famous for his role as James Kirk in a Star Trek franchise. Robert Vaughn Robert Vaughn was 43 years old then and died when he was 83 years old. He adopted two children in order to start a family. Ray Milland Ray Milland was 68 years old then and died when he was 79 years old. He is best known for his role in The Lost Weekend. Anne Francis Anne Francis was 45 years old then and died when she was 80 years old. She started her career at the age of five to help her family during the Great Depression. Thanks for watching.